Hello guys and welcome back. And now we are about to begin episode 4. So let's start. Oops. Wait, I messed that up. Let me do that one more time. Oops, let's start. <laughs> yeah, let's uh let's uh let's go. Can't afford to look human. You're going to the Oh, we're getting a recap. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shark with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Ooh, savage part, man. I shouldn't have killed the man. I regret doing that shit. Fuck! <laughs> but, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship. Really. Oh, fuck. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. God damn it, man. I regret fucking killing him. <laughs> but that bitch, I ain't gonna have no regret killing her. If I get the chance to. It's raining just like it's raining outside of my house right now. <laughs> what the hell? Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What... what happened to me? There wasn't... You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, please don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was fucking gross. Cause they heal, I guess. Maybe next time, if he keeps going like this, he didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Excuse me, Miss White, but. Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... I'd, uh... I'd prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. 
That's Bay right there. She cares. <laughs> My boy, the pig. Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Beat as many metal shellings as you see fit. <laughs> one more silver round near your heart. The only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? <laughs> Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? How do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well, then. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. Yeah, that was some crazy shit, man. I guess he doesn't really remember. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. <laughs> and even he thought you were... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Swineheart? <laughs> Declared war against us last night. 
At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. I can admit that it went too far. Well, that's a good first step. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. <laughs> Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just... <clears throat> Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Man, there's so much story in this one episode, man. <laughs> Blue Marissa. beard. Oh. Marissa. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece <clears> of work. <throat> hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Hell, you're my boy. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but... You're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Sorry, man. Some <sighs> rules are meant to be followed, blah, blah, blah. But, man, your friends, man, I will never. <sighs> They're my friends, man, you know. <laughs> this is a game, but, you know, that's my boy Colin right there. You know, I ain't going to send him away. Security office. B-Wolf. There she is. Hey, girl, what you need me for? Can I skip this? Is there a way to skip this? God damn it! No, there isn't. Ah, uh, that's the start of the episode four. But yeah, there's so much going on, man. Uh, like I said, I do regret killing Dumb. Whatever, you know, what's done is done. You know, I could have gone back, you know, and redid it, and just said whatever happened and happened. But nah. <laughs> 
whatever this is my first time ever playing through this game we're gonna go through whatever choices whatever fuck ups that i do we're going we're doing it all together man <laughs> we ain't changing nothing i'm not sure if i'll play through this game like on video or video cassette <laughs> but uh I might do it by myself, you know. I don't I don't know. Who knows? Episode 4 in sheep's clothing. Run away, I'm away, I'm away down. Sheriff. Hey girl. Hi, Narissa. So what you so what so what that mouth do? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, let's see what let's see what's going down here, all right? Fables created. Yeah, yeah. Big B Wolf. Little Mermaid. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Wanted fugitives. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Thanks. So, what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just go ahead. Yeah, more. It might work. Was Crane set up? Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. <laughs> I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. I'm not good at riddles, girl. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I'm bad at riddles, man. I don't know. Do this. Fuck, I, I messed up. Know. I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Huh? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Yeah, I think I probably fucked up. <laughs> I'm just gonna remove it. You mind if I just? No, his lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. 
You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. God damn. <laughs> God damn, I keep fucking up, man. I don't know okay. what am I supposed to do. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... Probably snow. Listen, Sharon. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. She got jealous. <laughs> lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. <laughs> that was... Abrupt. Uh, one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say <clears throat> anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. Just realized I told Lily that she was beautiful so with the ribbon on. Beast. Holy you shit. There's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Yep. What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Narissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> I, fuck so, I fucked up so many times. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Yeah, man, you keep, keep fucking up, man. She meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Alright. I swear I just heard a whisper. Because I have a headset on. So, uh, yeah. Achievement unlocked once upon a time. But with that, my beautiful people, we'll have to hold on until the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Osh!